If we look at the Adobe After Effects that we installed on the render nodes, we'll see that it is a full version of Adobe After Effects. It has the ability to import files, has the ability to add effects, and all the things that you can do with the full version of Adobe After Effects. However, if we go to the Documents folder, we add a new text document, and we title it AE underscore render underscore only underscore node and save the blank text document in the My Documents folder. When we go back to After Effects, we'll notice that it opens the After Effects render engine, which has almost no abilities whatsoever. Under the file, you'll see that you have two buttons you can click on, close and watch folder. You also see that it doesn't have any composition settings or effects, if you couldn't notice by the fact that it only has the render queue window and no other options. So we want to go through and update that on all of our nodes. Then we'll go back to our workstation. We're going to change the name of local disk C by right clicking, going down to rename. We're going to name it hard drive 13 because if After Effects has the same hard drive, then it thinks it's the same computer and it will get confused between the two. When it gives you the warning, just click continue and it will change the name of the hard drive on each computer. Once you have all of the render nodes updated and the workstation updated, then you can go to your After Effects project. You want to select all your parts, go to composition, Add to Render Queue. Under your Render Settings, you want to click the arrow and go to Multi-Machine Settings. On the Output Module, you want to go to Multi-Machine Sequence. Then you want to go to File, Save As. We're going to save the file in the network drive under the AE Watch folder so that it's accessible to all the network nodes. Then I'm going to go to Output and also save this on Network Drive Z in the AE Watch folder. Then we'll go to File, Collect Files, and it will prompt us to save it. After we save the file, it will open up this window. We want to check Change the Render Output to the Render folder and enable the Watch folder to render on 13 machines, which is how many we're using and then we'll click Collect, and it will collect all of the projects into the Network folder. So if we go and check, we can see that all the videos from our project are now in the Project 2 folder under Footage, so they're available on the Network Drive to all the Network Render nodes. Now, we go back to the render queue and we go to our output. We're going to change it from the After Effects render folder into the Project 1 footage folder. Otherwise, it will dump all the pictures in the main folder and the render nodes will render some of the same pictures twice and they'll end up all over the place. So by changing it in the main project, then all the render nodes will be on the same page. Next, we want to go to our render node and go to the watch folder and choose the network drive AE watch folder and click choose. It will open up this little applet. It takes a few seconds to search. Once it finds the file, then it will open the project. If it does not open the project and start rendering like a regular render queue, 
then you have not done it correctly. We're going to go through each of the render nodes and choose the watch folder in the same way on each render node. We'll see that it's running. If we open up the task manager under the performance settings, on each render node, we can verify that there is in fact activity. As you can see, the memory is nearly maxed out since After Effects uses more memory and the CPU is reflecting about 10% usage. This is relatively the same on each of the render nodes. If we minimize them, then we can check their activity just by hovering over the icon on the taskbar without having to open them up. As you can see here, it has the total time for all of the render nodes on the workstation project. And if we go into the project two folder, into the output, we can verify that in fact, all the files are going into the same folder from the seven different render nodes that are activated at this time. If we go to the web page, which it forms, then we can go to the project and verify that in fact all of our nodes are logged in. If we click under the render items, then it will show us that all of the render machines have the project started, but also it will take us directly to the watch folder. So if we don't have the ability to be directly at our workstation, we can check this render throughout the day over the internet. It will give us access to our network drive so that we have all of our information in the same place.